Hey, welcome back lads. So we have all heard the talk that Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is dying and the game is not in a good place right now. Unfortunately, I think there is some truth to that. Even though I enjoy Modern Warfare 2 to some extent, right now it has become very stale and we're kind of just sitting here waiting for Season 2 to breathe some more life and content into the game. However, the more I play, the more I realize that Modern Warfare 2 needs a massive change or a complete overhaul to save it. Like, not just some new content, a new map or two, a couple of DLC weapons are not going to fix the issues that exist with the game. So I want to talk more about that and more about why Modern Warfare 2 is kind of in this state because I really don't think it's a bad game and I still stand by it's better than the last Modern Warfare game when it comes to like just the standard multiplayer. But the trouble is that there is nothing about this multiplayer experience that is outstanding, nothing really crazy, new or addictive. It's just very standard and that is why it's become so stale so fast and that's not really a good sign when the game is supposed to last for two whole years right this is the multiplayer game for the next two years but after what two or three months it's already not looking very healthy and i do think that part of that is just that you know regular call of duty six versus six multiplayer has itself has gotten old and is nothing special it doesn't keep people interested for long anymore which is why people seem to prefer warzone or if you are like me you prefer larger scale multiplayer modes like war in COD World War 2, ground war in Modern Warfare 2019, and combined arms in Cold War, all of those were amazing. These modes still feel and play like COD multiplayer, but they give you a new a new way to play, a new nature. Now of course, Modern Warfare 2 does have ground war, but it sucks. It's more like a game of hide and seek than Call of Duty. It's designed to be slow paced and campy, it's just actually painful to play, and I'm just already done with it. Meanwhile, I can go back to Modern Warfare 2019 Ground War after years of playing it and years without any updates and I can go back and still play it, still have fun, still be addicted to it. But with Modern Warfare 2, no, it's already done. It's just, they took something that worked so well. I just decided to ruin it and that is part of another reason why you know this multiplayer experience just doesn't stand out because if you think about it as well ground war in the last game was like completely new completely fresh and made the game addictive it saved the game for me but modern warfare 2 has ground war but it's just such a miss ground war itself is a whole other beast that needs a complete overhaul and badly so i think i'll make a part two of this video looking into what actually needs to be fixed added or changed to save modern warfare 2 this this is more so just looking as to like why the game is dying so we talked about it last week that just on the pc platform steam up to 50 percent of the play base has already stopped playing which isn't good and as i said adding in a couple of dlc maps and weapons isn't really gonna do much oh i almost forgot that another reason why modern warfare 2 is lacking replayability and a grind is that they changed the seasonal prestige challenges i, I don't know about you guys but i think that those have become like a vital part of the COD progression over the past couple of years, I'd always log in to make sure I complete with the challenges for the season. It was kind of like a, an addictive thing, you know, and now in Modern Warfare 2, it's kind of just like hidden really badly at the bottom of the calling card menu. There isn't even like a dedicated challenges menu tab, so you kind of just forget that it exists and you can't keep a track of it. So yeah, that just sucks. Like what? Why is there not even a challenges tab? So this vital part of the game's progression is just gone. So yeah, that also needs to change. But that is about that. As I said, we'll have a part two looking more into what actually needs to be done to, to save the game. But yeah, that's about that. Stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.